we will talk about white bread and whole wheat bread why white bread is risky for our health and why whole wheat bread is healthy and let's start with main difference white bread is made of refined wheat flour which means we have wheat kernel here and outer part is bread and innermost part is germ and this white part is endosperm so when we refine wheat it means remove this bread remove this germ and left only endosperm and white bread is made of this endosperm only so bran and germ is removed and in case of whole wheat bran bread uh, everything is retained uh, bran is retained germ is retained and why it's important because bran contains dietary fibers and germ contains vitamins and minerals and retain this germ and bran is important for our health and we will discuss why now let's say what happens when we eat bread imagine here is eating period we eat and because this wheat is refined and there is only endosperm it's easily absorbed by our body and it causes high glucose level in short period of time in our blood high glucose level stimulates insulin from our pancreas and insulin stimulates uptake of glucose by cells and it causes drop of glucose level suddenly so when we eat white bread we have sudden gluco higher glucose level and sudden drop of glucose level in short period time it is called glucose spikes and glucose levels drop so hugely that it causes lack of glucose in our blood it causes a low level of glucose which is called hypoglycemia and this period is called also glucose crush and at this time person feels hunger fatigue and difficulty concentrating difficulty thinking and person craves sugar again or person craves bread again so it looks paradoxically that we eat food to feel um, to suppress our appetite but we still feel more hungry in short period of time so that's how important is white bread ability to increase glucose level suddenly in the blood in the blood and it is called glycemic index so glycemic index of food is how fast it rises glucose level in the blood and white bread glycemic index is around 70 to 80 it's very high because highest is 100 and moderate is 50 so 70 to 80 glycemic index is considered very high and yes maybe you think that it's okay i will eat again and no problem but the problem is long term in long term uh, our pancreas cannot handle these spikes of glucose over time and insulin level rises and insulin level uh, is elevated constantly and it causes rise of another hormone which is called insulin like growth factor and insulin like growth factor stimulates cancers that's problem so we may think that eating bread is nothing but in long term in long term it stimulates high insulin level in blood and insulin level in blood stimulates insulin like growth factor which is which promotes cancer growth i'm focusing cancer because it's very difficult to treat cancer and 
oh, there is almost almost zero chance to cure cancer totally only several cancer you can treat but most cancer is not curable uh, today so uh, I, I'm focusing on it so because uh, eating white bread can rise risk of cancers that is very important so what other causes elevated glucose level also causes diabetes obesity cancer uh, and these risks are quite high for example high glucose level constantly high glucose level and consequently high insulin level causes around 20% increased risk of cancers uh, also around 30% risk uh, increased risk of diabetes uh, also very importantly elevated risk of obesity and we have meta-analysis of 46 studies about white bread and white bread really increases the risk of cardiovascular disease stroke diabetes and all causes mortality so for example it, it increases by 20 percent colorectal cancer increases 14 percent gastric cancer and when we say what is safe dosage of white bread dosage that we can eat and nothing happens nothing bad happens it's around two slices or 60 grams of course there are some persons who can eat maybe four slices or maybe five slices and no uh, no glucose spikes in the blood it's possible it depends on individual factors but generally speaking it's two slices or 60 grams and what is risky dosage it's around more than 100 grams so more than three slices of bread is already risky three si slices of bread daily because as i said it increases insulin level it increases igf or insulin like growth factor and stimulates cancer growth and different type of cancer growth even prostate cancer endometrial cancer breast cancer that's why it's very important and now let's say what happens in case of whole wheat uh, bread in case of whole wheat bread uh, we we eating here and glucose level increases but it's not important increase it's not glucose spike and insulin level also increases but slightly and we have no crush we have no hypoglycemia and a person feels uh, satiety so it's everything is normal when we eat whole wheat bread that's that's how huge difference between them and moreover it causes early satiety high it's high in proteins also for example white bread contains around nine grams of proteins and uh, whole wheat bread uh, bread contains around 13 grams of protein and protein are important for our muscle grow and muscle retain and muscle requires proteins and protein does not cause glucose spikes uh, in calories they are almost same it's 250 around 50 calories it's it's same for both uh, white bread and whole wheat bread but don't look only calories because uh, glycemic index is more important than calories for example if you eat french fries it has around 500 calories and if you eat nuts it has more than 500 calories but you can eat 400 grams of some nuts and for example walnut or uh, peanut or anything and it will not rise glucose level importantly because it has glycemic index only 15 and when you eat french fries uh, glucose levels spike suddenly because it has more than 70 um, glycemic index so glycemic index matters if we if we talking in 
has perspectives glycemic index mattered most. Of course, color is also important in long term. Uh, if person will weight gain or lose weight, its calories are totally important. But glycemic index very important for our uh, for our hormonal health and long term health. Also, whole wheat brain bread uh, contains seven grams of fibers dietary fibers is very important because white bread contains only four grams of dietary fibers so almost twice and we have studies and according to them not only don't increase risk of uh, health um, uh, and diseases but whole wheat bread decreases risk of uh, many diseases including cardiovascular risk uh, it decreases cardiovascular risk by 25 percent decreases risk of diabetes 20 to 30 percent and decreases cancer risk around five percent so uh, there's huge difference right why uh, white bread increases risk of all causes mortality increases risk of diabetes, weight gain, cancers, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and whole wheat bread decreases this risk. Huge difference. Very small change, but huge difference. And safe dosage also important. The safe dosage is 150 grams in case of uh, whole wheat bread so safe dosage is also uh, very different because safe dosage was 60 grams in case of white bread and here is 150 grams and now let's discuss what is best best bread for example you can ask that yes everything is okay but what is best bread for me and we have not only whole wheat breads we have other whole grain uh, breads for example rye bread it's well studied also and it has uh, high content of dietary fiber high content of proteins also and in, it improves satiety uh, improves uh, glucose response and improves gut health so rye bread uh, i think it's one of the top uh, bread um, in health perspective of course barley bread also very important uh, because it contains beta glucans which lowers cholesterol level it's very important also because cholesterol is leading cause of atherosclerosis uh, and uh, chronic inflammation in the body and also barley bread has anti-inflammatory action and huge dietary fiber content around 15 to 17 grams and my favorite is oat bread why oat bread because oat is very available uh, and you can bake such bread at home also for example when you going to mall or market you are not sure if you really buy whole uh, whole wheat bread or whole grain bread because maybe they mix for example refined flour and uh, whole grain uh, content so uh, maybe it's mixed maybe quality low maybe um, so when you buy oat at home you can uh, uh, you can blend it as a flour and you can bake uh, oat bread at home and you know that uh, you really eating healthy bread so my favorite is what bread it contains also uh, dietary fiber 11 proteins 11 grams and glycemic index is 55 it's moderate glycemic index uh, and it's equivalent and equal of uh, whole wheat bread so if you question quality of bread then i think what bread is best solution uh, thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now